Hi everyone, it's Sam, and I thought I would do an unpacking video. I just came back from Miami. I was there for about five days, and I thought it would be fun to share with you the stuff that I use and did not use. And I'm not sure if my, I did try to film a little bit while I was down there. I'm not sure if that Miami vlog will be up before or after this, um, but it'll be up if I get to editing it. Uh, I So we did carry on. We took, so going there we took United and then coming back we took American. I have to say United was a little bit better in terms of um, just like they had a, a TV screen, American didn't, but American had more leg space. Um, so I guess it's like up and down which one is better. Anyway, so let me just go through this and I took <laughs> I took Ziploc baggies. I don't know if I needed it for toiletries or for like food or something, but I didn't end up using these. So I'll bring those back downstairs. Oh, I did get a few things while I was down there. Uh, I brought this bag back even though I don't really need it. Although we are needing more bags now since plastic has been banned where I'm living, where I live. New Jersey. Uh, these are one pair of sunglasses from Clay or Key. That's one. I guess I'll try it on. And I got two because it was buy one get one free and I know that Key they sell their glasses at Nordstrom sometimes but they're never polarized. These are polarized which was my the main seller for selling point for me. So I got these and then the other pair, a little bit more flashy, and I didn't even notice these detailing right here, uh, these, these triangle things, and then on the side. But these are the second pair and I absolutely love these. And you really can't beat uh, that they're polarized. And I think I got both of them for 90 something dollars. I love the colorful glass cleaners. Okay, then <laughs> I did end up using a Ziploc bag for this, even though it was already in a bag. We were going to do laundry. We we did laundry there, but uh, at the apartment that we were staying at, it was my friend's apartment, and she had almost everything that we needed. We didn't check before we bought uh, detergent if they had any, and they did. So I just brought this bag with me, and this is good to have in case we go someplace else in the future that needs uh, that we need a single-use um, laundry detergent. So I'll just take a pot. So I got that. Another souvenir that I brought back was from the Starbucks. From Starbucks, it's the I've been there. What's it called? Been there series, and I got the one that said Miami. They had two. This one. And one that said Florida, but I got the Miami one. And then another thing that I got is this t-shirt from this store called Winwood Shop. And it was such a cute store and very affordable too. So I got this t-shirt that says Miami vibe. And I just, this is something that I would wear as pajama top or even out. I feel like a lot of the tourist t-shirts I probably would just wear for pajamas but this one I would actually wear out and then I did bring back a couple of souvenirs this one is from my grandmother I just didn't she, you know it's it's hard to get something for someone for someone who has everything and don't really need much just got her these I thought it would be like a nice sweet treat for her okay so in terms of what I wore so I definitely wore my pajamas, so I just, this is my sports bra, t-shirt, and lounge pants, so I wore those. I did wear both, so I brought two um, handbags, a fanny pack, and just a regular handbag. I wore this more, I wore this a couple of times, uh, but this came in handy. I probably next time would just bring this. Now, mask is almost non-existent in Miami or in Florida, but I did bring extra just in case. And I wore mine only in really high traffic areas, uh, like the airplane and the airport. But other than that, I really didn't wear it. Uh, sometimes I wore it in a lift. 
because we did lift everywhere. So I'll put those to put away. Uh, clothes. Let's see. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. I guess I'll just pull them out. I wore, I bought a six pack of underwear. Um, I only wore, <laughs> I don't know why, why I'm telling you about my underwear, but I did wear uh, just the five. I brought the six pack just in case I needed, um, there was an accident or something or another. I did wear this top and I wore outfits that you could mix and match. I brought this top, mostly Old Navy stuff. I wore with this, uh, I wore these pants, which I would wear these again, uh, bring them on trips or whatever, because these linen pants are great in uh, hot weather. I wore both bathing suits, so this is just the one. And let's see. Oh, so these two things I did not wear. Um, I don't know why uh, I brought these. Well, I say that now, but I was just, my thinking was in case we went out to somewhere fancy. But all these places, I think they understand that it's hot out and you're not going to be like wearing, you know, bulky outfits. And I brought this in case I needed to have a little jacket, but you don't need a jacket anywhere, guys. It's, it's Miami. So I will put those over there because I didn't wear them. I bought uh, a few of these like Uniqlo Airism undershirts, which came in handy because this collected the sweat before I got onto my t-shirt of choice that day. Very important. I brought a turdy, a turdy. <laughs> goodness I said that by accident because Steve calls it that because they do get to smell sometimes if you don't wash them in time uh, but I brought a turby twist which came in handy um I wore this on the first day these are straight leg on the day that we were leaving for Florida I wore these straight um pants and these are very comfortable I love them but I didn't wear them after that <laughs> Okay, next, I wore these a couple of times. These are like running shorts, but these are like great for the beach because they dry really fast. I wore these shorts. And you can tell like with the shirts and stuff that I got that these are all like, they could all mix and match. So that was really great. I love these too. These are linen shorts. And I don't really wear colorful outfits, so that came in handy. I wore these bike shorts once, but this was huge at the airport. Like everyone, every female that I saw was wearing biker shorts and like a matching uh, tank top, which I thought was such a cute look, but everybody was wearing bike shorts. I also wore these because it was like a lightweight cotton t-shirt. This is another shirt that I wore as well. Uh, everything that I bought uh, brought with me in terms of like clothes was sort of lightweight except for the jeans obviously I did not wear this shirt it was just too thick and hot or these dark jeans I didn't wear those either uh, I wore these shorts and then let's see oh here's the other bathing suit both for Calvin Klein, so oh, that's inside out, but you kind of get the picture. And this was the also on the first day, but it was too thick as well. It's a t-shirt from Uniqlo. Everything else was mostly Old Navy, uh, but I wore this in the straight uh, jeans on the way to the airport. Shoes, I wore these the first day at the beach, and I didn't wear them again because I just wore sneakers. This the sand was so hot I, I couldn't I couldn't do it I couldn't do it I actually got blisters because the sand was so hot and we were walking back and forth I wore this once these sandals uh, which I'm glad that I brought because I uh, they they are comfortable it's just this part right here um, and I think my feet were also sensitive from walking on the beach. They just underneath was just kind of not raw, but like there was a couple of blister points. Uh, but those shoes are comfortable. 
did not use this at all. <laughs> uh, makeup, I didn't use anything except for one thing. Let's see if it's even in here. I used the spoolie on this so that my brows can just look like they, I did something to them. Um, no, it's not in here. It must be in um, my toiletry bag. But I didn't wear any makeup at all. It was just I was either too tired or um, I just did not feel like doing a whole face of makeup for it to melt off. I don't know how these people do it down there. Okay, so that's for my suitcase for my toiletries. Let's see. Um, I did uh, use, let me just show you, like nail stuff but after I took a shower because I think it's really important to take care of your feet. Uh, so I brought this kind of stuff, which I did use. I used the comb in the shower that I brought with me. I used this hair tie thing a couple of times. Uh, deodorant, very important. Sunscreen, this is what I have left. I bought like four bottles of sunscreen. That sun is no joke down there. Um, next time though, I think I would bring um, a spray tan tan a spray sunscreen or get it down there uh, just because of the size restriction. I didn't use these wipes at all. And I was gonna do all this. I didn't shave either because I've done LASIK, not on my legs, but I've done it under my arms and like back here. Well, I guess the underarms is really the main thing and my legs. But since I was only there five days, I didn't need to shave at all. So I didn't use this. I barely used <laughs> perfume. I used it, I think maybe once. Uh, and I was gonna do all these, which I'll do today. Uh, the foots and one of the masks I'll do. And I'm on the Biore. I was gonna do it on the plane, but I just, I don't know, I got a little bit embarrassed. But then when I was on the plane, I was like, I wish I did it. Okay, let's see. So the only makeup thing that I wore was this, and I love it. It's the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. It really does give you like this just beautiful shine on the face, like you're glowing, not shiny as in like oily or whatever, but just it just gives you a nice glow. So I wore that when I didn't want to wear it. When I didn't wear makeup, I chose that instead. Mouthwash, I barely used. Maybe I got three uses out of it. Contact thing came in handy. Where is the, and these are so cute, they look like glasses. And I'm trying to, I'm gonna, so what I, when I looked through my suitcase, I had a whole bunch of like toiletry stuff that I hadn't used. It's probably not good to use it. So what I think I'm gonna do is now that I'm back, I will use up all of the samples and things because I have a whole container full of samples that I could bring for my next trip. Just use it up so that I don't have so much um, waste. I guess. Um, I did a lot of skincare down there. I did the, a mask. This is the Origins Clear Improvement. Um, this hair mask, overnight hair mask that I used a couple of times because I was in the water and the sun and everything. This is night cream. The face cream that I used. And uh, anti-frizz hair serum. Is it hair serum? No. They call it blowout butter. toothpaste which I'm gonna finish up uh, this thing was interesting this is the pure four-in-one correcting primer and it's anti blemish and mattifying acne treatment I started breaking out like right here so I use that kind of like in my t-zone and stuff like that um, this is the Sunday Riley uh, oil sorry I haven't been reading the names of all of these uh, I use this once this is the dr. Brant Michael dermabrasion Uh, this is the Elizabeth Arden Eye Cream. I took better care of my face on this trip than I do at home. Uh, the It's Skin Hyaluronic Acid Emulsion. This smells so good. I wish I could get this in like a perfume. If you have it, you guys know. Uh, this was my face wash, the Origins Checks and Balances. I, uh, I use this brow thing, the Anastasia, Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. 
love my Carmax. I use that every day. Uh, these two lotions I didn't use because I didn't, I had enough. Uh, but I brought the, oh no, I used this one, sorry. Uh, I didn't use this one. The Kiehl's Creme Decor. I really like that lotion though. My soap. <laughs> Almost done. My shampoo I put into this bottle. I like this bottle because it's, like you can squeeze it out. Uh, this is the conditioner, the Christopher Robin conditioner, uh, Caudalie serum. I didn't use the toner that much. I might have used it once. I don't even think I used it once. Uh, the facial cleanser. Uh, sorry, Tasha Deep Cleanse. I really like this. And I think, oh no, this. No, I think that's it. Um, so I used, I was really happy with the amount of things that I used um, in terms of skincare and just uh, things like that. And my clothes too, I, I mean, there was only like a few things that I didn't end up wearing. Um, but it's like so funny, every time I pack, I always get super anxious and like just throw in a bunch of stuff that I know I'm never going to wear. Uh, so I want to try to make a list of things that I did use and that I know there's just certain things that I know I'm going to need. And I did bring a hairbrush, but I don't know where it is. Oh, there's a few things. This is the backpack that I wore. And I wore this hat once, but I didn't wear it again because my hair dye. I had dyed my hair like a week before and I thought that was enough time, but it was getting on the back of my hat, which is not a big deal. Um, just trying to see. Oh, I have to buy band-aids because my feet have blisters oh there's a few things in here i did use this innisfree facial mist a couple of times this mega babe uh thigh rescue for you know shaping which i did found that i didn't need i guess my shorts weren't that short where my thighs were rubbing together and here's a couple of let's see i had um you know alcohol wipes to clean and i had this hand sanitizer uh, and these are the two that I'm going to try to finish up. So this was a sample. This is a Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench SPF. I use that for my face and my ears. And then this is also for the face, but I use it for the body. I think for Miami, you need at least 50 or anywhere that's like has a lot of sun. You just need the 50. Um, the places that I did put it on, I got really red. But the other places, I did still get a tan, um, but I didn't get burnt. I got burnt a little bit on the back because I couldn't reach the back. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.